Hey there you guys, welcome back. Today I wanted to share with you my new indulgence. Uh, I haven't really been doing much other than orchids the last, well, several months, uh, over winter time and whatnot. It's time for the indoor plants and whatever, but now, uh, with the warmer weather starting to come, you if you follow me on Instagram, you'll see that we had an ice storm not long ago and uh, had an iris photo that was covered in ice. So, uh, yeah, it was kind of touch and go there for a couple of days, but we're starting back into the, uh, the positive weather, um, and bulbs are starting to do their own thing again, finally. And, uh, yeah, so I just wanted to uh, share with you what I purchased. I purchased all kinds of succulents. Uh, recently, uh, the new craze is to do uh, succulent gardens. So I ended up buying these pots last year. And uh, realistically, I had no idea what I was going to plant in these pots, but uh, they were 60% off, and they were $19.99 each. So these pots were under $10. Uh, they are plastic, so but they're UV resistant, and they feel rather sturdy. So what are they? They're the UV resistant, frost resistant, lightweight, and recyclable. So anyway, uh, the video isn't about the pots, but it's about uh, the plants that I've been purchasing. And uh, if you know any of the uh, the names of them in my area, succulents don't cactus and succulents don't normally come with names. They come with cactus or they come with succulent. And uh, I could have told them that, but uh, they don't really give variety names. They don't give family names. They don't give anything like that. So it's kind of a guess. So if you are a succulent or cactus wizard, uh, you just absolutely love them and you you know the names off by heart. Uh, please feel free to comment down below. I will also put the photos of the ones that I don't know in Facebook. Uh, so if you do uh, venture to that area, you can uh, you can put a comment on the photo of the plant itself. Because I really want to make labels for these things. So, <clears throat> let me just put this down. I'll bring things up and show you. This is the first one here. Uh, this one is, I think it's a type of Stapelia. The lady at the garden center said it was a Stapelia. Uh, by the way, all of these black pots I'm going to show you in just a second, all were $4.99 each, so I thought that that was a really neat steal. Um, especially for something like a Stapelia. Uh, Stapelias tend to be in a very, very small pot for uh, $4.99, and uh, it, usually around this size in my area, they're at least $10 uh, or more, depending on, on the variety. So I don't know what type this is. It's not in bloom. There was nothing in bud. Uh, so... I'm really at odds. She said it was like the Lifesaver plant, and I said, is it the Lifesaver plant? Because I have that one. But the growth on this one, I'll show you the Lifesaver plant in just a sec. Okay, so they do look very similar, as you can see, but the Lifesaver plant seems to be a, a much smaller, uh, they have much smaller growths, and they branch a lot more. So this is, I can see how it would be related to the, to the, to this little guy. So if you have any ideas, uh, just put the put them in the in the comments below. And uh, when it flowers, I guess that's the first uh, the the best way to uh, ID this particular one. So move this off to the side. Put this back. The second one, I have no idea. This one here is I only assume that it's a type of sedum. I got it because it's really really cool. I love the reddish tones to it. Uh, is it going to? pull it in to focus. I'm not sure. It looks like it's got little flowers on the ends. So I, I assume this is going to be a type of acetum, but uh, I can't ID it. I don't know why. Uh, so if you know what this one is, if you have it in your garden or have it in your collection, let me know. Uh, I'd really, really like, like to know that one. It reminds me of a bonsai. It's really wonky and crazy, uh, but really, really cool. So we'll put that off to the side. Again, $4.99. This one I'm really excited about. This is a spineless yucca, uh, spineless yucca, a spineless um, agave. So most of my agaves that I've had in the past uh, really like to poke me. And uh, I go in to water them and I come out bleeding. So I would not water them very often. Outside it's easier. You got the hose and you can just spray all over the place. But uh, inside it's a little bit more difficult. You got to get closer uh, with the watering can. And that just doesn't really work in my favor very much. Excuse me. So... This is a spineless agave. Um, if you if you don't know what it looks like, uh, look it up. 
Uh, maybe if I can remember, I'll put some uh, some photos of some of the mature plants, of the ones that I know, uh, so that you can see what they look like a little bit bigger. But this is a really, really beautiful plant as it grows. So again, $4.99. What? This one here, uh, I assume this one is, this is an Echeveria. I can't remember the, the, the type, though, but I do know it's an Echeveria. I do have the, the ID on this one. It's so fuzzy. It's so cute. It's so fluffy. Uh, and it's got a little flower spike starting on it on this one. Can you see that? So cute. So that's the next one. Uh, this one here is Crisula Morgan's Beauty. Is that going to come into focus? This one really looks cool as it gets bigger. Uh, supposedly, uh, it only gets to be about four inches tall, but it kind of like mounds and all over the place as the form kind of lets you know. Uh, it doesn't really have an upright form. It's kind of all over the place, and it looks like it's starting to branch out right here to kind of do a little bit of an arm off to the side. It, there's just no rhyme or reason to it. It's really, really fun. And it's got a really cute flower. It's pink if it's if it's not focusing in. It might be washed out by the lights. And this one here isn't a cactus or a succulent. This is a Tratoscantia. What is this one? I think this one's called Teddy Bear. I really enjoy this. Uh, it gets long. Um, but you really get the best effect of this if you keep pruning it back so it's kind of small. Because the new, the new, new growth, I don't know whether it's going to uh, focus in there. The new, new growth really looks cute. It's very fuzzy uh, as it grows out. It's still fuzzy, but just not as fun. Uh, so keep that in mind. If you find teddy bear, uh, they're really, really adorable. Uh, Tratoscantia, uh, tough as nails plants, uh, might as well. Put it with a cactus succulent because it uh, doesn't require a lot of water, but it grows really quickly. So with a high growth rate, it does like to be watered regularly. And this one here, pardon my pronunciation, I don't know, Gasteria? I think it's Gasteria. It sounds like an intestine. Uh, these plants, my grandmother used to, uh, used to uh, grow these, and they're really, really fun. This one here is more of a smooth variety. I, it, it feels, they always feel fake. They feel like plastic. And then this one here has more of a, uh, a warty appearance to it. Really think it's cool. And again, really like plastic. Love these. Uh, they bring me back to my childhood. My grandmother, like I said, had lots of these growing on her windowsills. She had a lot of plants growing on her windowsills. I don't have any, uh, any more space over here. Another one here. I'm not sure what this one is, but I assume it's a type of sedum. Uh, I can't remember. I, I think I used to know this one. It's not jelly bean or anything like that. <coughs> Excuse me. But uh, again, if you know the names of any of these things, put the time below and, uh, and, and what you think it is. And I'll Google it. And then I got... In my area, they sell little plugs of plants as well, which is really nice because sometimes you can get things a little bit cheaper. This is a, a sedum for sure. This one is a sedum, sedum rubro tinctum. Oh God, I don't know. Anyway, it's called pork and beans or jelly bean plant. Uh, I wrote down pork and beans because I think that that's hilarious. I think that uh, if you have a plant that's called pork and beans, how funny is that? What do you, what else do you need, really? What else? <laughs> so that's adorable. And uh, it gets its name because as it gets a little bit stressed out, maybe with uh, excessive lights or, uh, light or uh, perhaps uh, really high temperatures, or maybe, 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 maybe if it dips down a little bit too cool, whenever it's stressed out, um, the leaves will go more of a reddish tone. So you'll get the nice green and then the, the older leaves will be more of a red. Uh, sometimes they can get quite vibrant. So um, that's where it gets its name from. And also they look like little jelly belly jelly beans. Really delicious. Don't eat them. I don't know if they're poisonous. Just don't. Unless they're edible. I don't know. Let me know. Don't eat them. Don't, don't do it because I just, yeah. <laughs> uh, and then I got three more here. These two here are um, Haworthias. I love the Haworthia these days. Uh, for some reason, they are really uh, uh, drawing my eye. I have a couple of Haworthias in some other mixed containers, and they're doing beautifully. Uh, so, again, my grandmother used to grow these. They are a really old plant, and uh, they're just coming back for me. I, I just love them. 
Uh, really, really cute. They uh, they tend to produce all kinds of offset, uh, offsets, offsets like hens and chicks do. Um, but really, really cool. Another tough as nails. Really, really good one. Uh, I find that they they like a little bit more water than a, than a normal uh, succulent. I used to let mine go dry, and they they would really uh, really look it. And then when I give them a little bit more water, they plump up and they look nice, really nice, and they grow like crazy. And last but not least, this is the last one. This one here is Sansevieria uh, francisii or something like that. Uh, it looks like it's a type of uh, Sansevieria cylindrica, but it is not a cylindrica. Well, at least it might be a variety of cylindrica, but it's Sansevieria francisii. Got the little tag here. I'm trying my best to keep things labeled because uh, when you're starting to get into these little guys, um, you can fill up a pot with them, and then you're like, well, I don't know what those are. So I'm going to do my best. I'm going to try to do, um, first I'm going to do regular gross labels, but then maybe I'm going to find some, some cute little metal labels and, and, uh, and handwrite something on there so that it's easier to read. Um, but yeah, uh, I'll take you along with me when we do some, uh, some container gardens of these. I don't know how I'm going to plant them in around here, but, uh, We've got a nice purple pot, we've got a green pot, and a beautiful blue one. I love them! So anyway, that's it for this video. Uh, show me uh, what type of succulents you grow. I know that many of you have asked me to show more of my succulents uh, in, in videos, I, and I haven't. I don't know, they just are, are back burner, they just do what they do, they don't take a lot of attention. Um, mine don't look all that great because I don't give them the light that they need. When they go outside for the summer, they do beautifully, but then I bring them inside and they kind of stretch a little bit. So I need to up the amount of light that I, I provide them over the winter time. Maybe I'll give them their own little table and I'll have the lights a little bit closer down. Um, so, but yeah, anyway, uh, this video is getting a little bit long. So join me on, uh, the Plants and Things What's Growing page. That page is growing crazy. There's so many people joining that these days, but such is the season, springtime brings everybody out. And uh, also the Plants and Things page, and also follow me on Instagram. Uh, tag me in your photos, uh, then I can see what you're what you're growing, and I can I can uh, I can judge you. No, I'm kidding. I can I can thumbs up or or like and uh, and message you back. Anyway, until next time, happy growing, everyone. Everybody has different growing styles, so uh, it's hard to tell people when to water it there's there's a guideline you want to let it just kind of dry out between waterings uh, and then in the winter time some of these like I said require dry